I watched this TED talk about confidence and self-confidence yesterday, and I think that's sort of what it comes down to. I, a lot of me, I think, doesn't believe that I can do this still. As much as the progress I've made, I feel like I sabotage myself a lot of times, and it's because I lack the confidence to live the life and experience all that that I would need if I was healthy, if I was being successful, right? Or here's here's the fear that comes. It's a really weird fear. So you've heard that quote where you're afraid, not afraid that you'll fail, but afraid of your light or that you, how great you can be. I think that's real because I'm afraid that even if, if I tried, I would fail. So if I don't try and I don't fail and I don't succeed, then I can live in this like perpetual fake world. Oh, I, I definitely could succeed if I really tried, but because I don't try, I don't succeed. That's the only reason. So the, the fear that I have is that if I, if I try and I fail, like, that's worse, right? But it's not. But in my head, subconsciously, I didn't, that wasn't something that I would, like, this is the first time I really put it to words, and I think it's true. And so that comes down to self-confidence of, do you think you could succeed financially? Do you think you can succeed physically, mentally, spiritually with your relationships? Can you be a success? And just because you fail at one specific instance or don't do as well as you thought, does that mean you haven't succeeded? And what is success? You know, so there's so many existential questions, but they're really important because if you don't think about them, you don't come to a, a good answer, you'll keep sabotaging yourself like I have. And I'm going to the gym now. I set up everything last night. And I got up my vlog up pretty early and I just sabotaged myself. I played some video games until like two o'clock in the morning. It took me a little while to get to bed and then I slept in. It hasn't really ruined anything, but the whole reason I didn't work out last night was so that I could wake up early today and work out. I am a success in a lot of ways and I will become more of a success and I have a lot of potential and I'm going to change the world for the better and I, I know I will. For a lot of you, w losing weight isn't a mental thing, maybe. You know, I, I like to think I'm, or I'm realizing that for getting healthy, it, it's mental for everybody, but more for some more than others, right? And for me, that's the biggest part because when I am working out and positive and eating well, it's all because of I've chosen to in my head. If I had my bad mental state and I was working out and eating right, I wouldn't stay fit long. And that's why so many people gain the weight back. It's not because their diet or exercise was bad, but it was because they didn't change their head. And because they didn't change what was in their head, eventually they go right back to those same habits that they had in the first place. At least that's been my experience. Starting off with walking. That's two miles. About. 450 calories in about 25 minutes. I walked for almost a half mile at the beginning, about 0.35 miles. Try and get to a 5k as quick as I can today. I'm at about 11 minute a mile pace. It's just sucky, but it's only sucky because of what I got to in the past. But I'm going back, going back there. I got 2.6 miles, 5k, 3.1 miles. I'm gonna try and sprint the last half mile to try and get 35 minute 5k. Got to three miles. My pace is 950. I really want to step. Really bad. But set a goal. I'm trying to reach it. Alright, 700 calories. Full 5k. 37 minutes. It's better than I have been doing, at least. <sighs> but I stayed strong till the very end. So I walked here at the end. I got 800 calories, 3.84 in about 50 minutes. I did my 5K, um, 3.1 miles at about 37. I think it was really like 36.9 or something. 36, 60. Four, I don't know, 64, yeah, because there's 64 seconds in a minute. I feel good with this workout. You know you can do well when you feel good afterwards. We know if we push ourselves or not, and I didn't do the most I ever could, but I want to be able to do this every day, but I did a really good workout today, I feel it. The only downside of going to the rec center is 
There's like big groups of kids. They come a lot of times. It's a day. And people are coming behind me in the car. It's always so awkward. Or especially when they're like walking. But yeah. <laughs> it's really helpful. It like it's just What's it called again? It's called Team THF. So I might do this thing called Team THF and it sounds pretty awesome because they do everything cool. It's, but it's really simple. Give a like give like know? a 30 second what it is. Whatever you want. So it is it's just making lifestyle changes of clean eating and maximizing fat loss. Like that's the goal is to maximize fat loss. And it's tries to work with you as much as you possibly can or want. Like if you want to run they will try to manipulate your diet and exercise program to still maximize your fat loss and so that's that's the goal they'll tell you what they know is the best to do that and you can either follow it or take their suggestions or not yeah well, the cool part i thought they measure not just your like the scale but also like they do calipers and measure really body fat percentage which is my main goal which is to get into nine percent body fat but it's like 60 bucks a month so <laughs> that's the only downside really there's some benefits to paying right because you have accountability and all that